Let me start by saying that life is a journey. It's a path we walk alone at times, and there are moments when it feels like we don't have anyone by our side. Now, I know that can be a tough pill to swallow, but here's the truth. You don't need anyone else to make your dreams come true. You've got everything you need within you, and if you can embrace that, you will find the strength to push through any challenge, rise above any circumstance, and forge your own path. I want you to understand something important. Being alone doesn't mean being lonely. There's a difference, and I want you to recognize that distinction. When you're alone, you can tap into your inner strength, your creativity, and your potential. You can reflect, refocus, and recharge. It's in those quiet moments that you hear your own voice, the voice that guides you, the voice that tells you who you are and what you're capable of. Now, society often tells us that we need a support system, that we need to lean on others to get by. And yes, having a network of friends and family can be helpful. But I want you to realize that relying solely on others can sometimes hold you back. It can make you dependent on external validation and approval. But when you understand that you are enough just as you are, you begin to live a life that's authentic and true to yourself. Think about it for a moment. Every time you faced adversity, every challenge that's come your way, how did you overcome it? Was it someone else who saved you? Or was it your own determination that pushed you through? I can promise you that at the end of the day, it's not the people around you who are going to make things happen. It's you. You are the one who has to put in the work. You are the one who has to show up day after day and fight for your dreams. I often reflect on my own journey and the battles I've fought. Every role I've played, every film I've been in, every award I've won, none of that came without struggle. There were times when I faced rejection, criticism, and setbacks that made me question my path. But what I learned through those challenges is that the only thing that matters is the belief you have in yourself. You can hear all the applause from others, but at the end of the day, it's your own belief that keeps you going. It's your own commitment to yourself that makes the difference. And let me tell you something else. When you start believing in yourself, when you start recognizing your own worth, everything changes. You stop waiting for others to give you permission to succeed. You stop asking for validation. You become your own champion. You become the driver of your own destiny. Let's talk about some real world examples. Think about some of the greatest figures in history, those who have accomplished amazing feats. Many of them had to carve their own path, often in the face of overwhelming odds. They faced criticism, doubt, and opposition, but they didn't let that deter them. They stood firm in their beliefs and their vision, and they moved forward, often alone, until they proved everyone wrong. Take, for instance, Rosa Parks. You know her name, you know what she did, but let's dive deeper. That moment when she refused to give up her seat wasn't just a spontaneous act of defiance. It was the culmination of years of determination and belief in her cause. She faced immense backlash and isolation, but she stood firm. She understood that it wasn't just about her. It was about paving the way for future generations. She became a symbol of strength and resilience. She didn't wait for someone to tell her it was okay to stand up for her rights. She took that step herself. Or think about Nelson Mandela. Here's a man who spent 27 years in prison for standing up against injustice. Can you imagine that kind of sacrifice? He emerged not with bitterness, but with a vision for a united South Africa. He could have easily let his circumstances define him, but instead, he chose to rise above. He believed in something greater than himself, and that belief fueled his determination. He became the architect of his own destiny. When he finally stepped out of that prison, he didn't think about revenge. He thought about reconciliation. He understood that he had the power to shape not only his future, but the future of an entire nation. Now, let's bring it closer to home. Think about your own life. Maybe you've been in situations where the odds were stacked against you. Maybe you've faced challenges that seemed insurmountable. But I want you to remember that every single one of those moments is an opportunity for growth. Each challenge is a lesson waiting to be learned. Every setback is a chance to bounce back stronger than before. When I think about the hurdles I've faced, I remember a time early in my career when I was struggling to find my footing. I went to auditions where I was told no more times than I can count. And those no's can sting. They can shake your confidence. But it was during those moments of rejection that I learned the most about myself. I learned to dig deep and find that inner strength. I learned that the world doesn't owe me anything. I have to earn my place. And that's what I did. I kept pushing forward. 
I kept honing my craft. I kept believing in the story I wanted to tell. And that's what I want you to do. No matter how tough things get, keep pushing. Keep striving. You are the only one who can determine the outcome of your life. It's your journey. Own it. Take the reins. Don't sit back and let life happen to you. Get up and make life happen for you. Because at the end of the day, it's your hard work, your determination, and your belief in yourself that will pave the way for success. Think about athletes. Every time they step onto that field, they don't just rely on their coaches or teammates to win the game. They put in the hours of practice, the sweat, the blood, the tears. They do it for themselves. They do it because they want to prove to themselves that they can. That's the mindset we need to adopt. Don't wait for someone to come along and give you the green light. Take that initiative. Make your own opportunities. Now, let's address a common fear that holds many people back. The fear of failure. I want you to understand that failure is not the end of the road. In fact, it's often the beginning of something new. Every successful person you look up to has faced failure at some point. It's part of the journey. The key is to embrace it, learn from it, and use it as fuel to propel you forward. Let me start by saying that life is a journey. It's a path we walk alone at times, and there are moments when it feels like we don't have anyone by our side. I know that can be a tough pill to swallow, but here's the truth. You don't need anyone else to make your dreams come true. You've got everything you need within you, and if you can embrace that, you will find the strength to push through any challenge, rise above any circumstance, and forge your own path. I want you to understand something important. Being alone doesn't mean being lonely. There's a difference, and I want you to recognize that distinction. When you're alone, you can tap into your inner strength, creativity, and potential. You can reflect, refocus, and recharge. It's in those quiet moments that you hear your own voice, the voice that guides you, the voice that tells you who you are and what you're capable of. Now, Society often tells us that we need a support system, that we need to lean on others to get by. And yes, having a network of friends and family can be helpful. But I want you to realize that relying solely on others can sometimes hold you back. It can make you dependent on external validation and approval. But when you understand that you are enough just as you are, you begin to live a life that's authentic and true to yourself. Think about it for a moment. Every time you face adversity, Every challenge that comes your way, how do you overcome it? Was it someone else who saved you, or was it your own determination that pushed you through? I can promise you that at the end of the day, it's not the people around you who are going to make things happen, it's you. You are the one who has to put in the work. You are the one who has to show up day after day and fight for your dreams. I often reflect on my own journey and the battles I've fought. Every role I've played, every film I've been in, every award I've won, None of that came without struggle. There were times when I faced rejection, criticism, and setbacks that made me question my path. But what I learned through those challenges is that the only thing that matters is the belief you have in yourself. You can hear all the applause from others, but at the end of the day, it's your own belief that keeps you going. It's your own commitment to yourself that makes the difference. And let me tell you something else. When you start believing in yourself, when you start recognizing your own worth, everything changes. You stop waiting for others to give you permission to succeed. You stop asking for validation. You become your own champion. You become the driver of your own destiny. Let's talk about some real-world examples. Think about some of the greatest figures in history, those who have accomplished amazing feats. Many of them had to carve their own path, often in the face of overwhelming odds. They faced criticism, doubt, and opposition, but they didn't let that deter them. They stood firm in their beliefs and their vision, and they moved forward, often alone, until they proved everyone wrong. Take, for instance, Rosa Parks. You know her name, you know what she did, but let's dive deeper. That moment when she refused to give up her seat wasn't just a spontaneous act of defiance. It was the culmination of years of determination and belief in her cause. She faced immense backlash and isolation, but she stood firm. She understood that it wasn't just about her, it was about paving the way for future generations. She became a symbol of strength and resilience. She didn't wait for someone to tell her it was okay to stand up for her rights. She took that step herself. Or think about Nelson Mandela. Here's a man who spent 27 years in prison for standing up against injustice. Can you imagine that kind of sacrifice? He emerged not with bitterness, but with a vision for a united South Africa. 
He could have easily let his circumstances define him, but instead, he chose to rise above. He believed in something greater than himself, and that belief fueled his determination. He became the architect of his own destiny. When he finally stepped out of that prison, he didn't think about revenge. He thought about reconciliation. He understood that he had the power to shape not only his future, but the future of an entire nation. Now, let's bring it closer to home. Think about your own life. Maybe you've been in situations where the odds were stacked against you. Maybe you've faced challenges that seemed insurmountable. But I want you to remember that every single one of those moments is an opportunity for growth. Each challenge is a lesson waiting to be learned. Every setback is a chance to bounce back stronger than before. When I think about the hurdles I faced, I remember a time early in my career when I was struggling to find my footing. I went to auditions where I was told no more times than I can count. And those no's can sting, they can shake your confidence. But it was during those moments of rejection that I learned the most about myself. I learned to dig deep and find that inner strength. I learned that the world doesn't owe me anything. I had to earn my place. And that's what I did. I kept pushing forward. I kept honing my craft. I kept believing in the story I wanted to tell. And that's what I want you to do. No matter how tough things get, keep pushing. Keep striving. You are the only one who can determine the outcome of your life. It's your journey. Own it. Take the reins. Don't sit back and let life happen to you. Get up and make life happen for you. Because at the end of the day, it's your hard work, your determination, and your belief in yourself that will pave the way for success. Think about athletes. Every time they step onto that field, they don't just rely on their coaches or teammates to win the game. They put in the hours of practice, the sweat, the blood, the tears. They do it for themselves. They do it because they want to prove to themselves that they can. That's the mindset we need to adopt. Don't wait for someone to come along and give you the green light. Take that initiative. Make your own opportunities. Now, let's address a common fear that holds many people back, the fear of failure. I want you to understand that failure is not the end of the road. In fact, it's often the beginning of something new. Every successful person you look up to has faced failure at some point. It's part of the journey. The key is to embrace it, learn from it, and use it as fuel to propel you forward. I remember one of my early roles where I was met with criticism. I was told that I wouldn't make it in Hollywood. Those words stung, but I didn't let them define me. Instead, I used that criticism to fuel my desire to prove everyone wrong. I wanted to show the world what I was capable of, so I studied harder, trained more, and kept pushing myself. Eventually, I found success, but it didn't come without a fight. It never does. This brings me to another important point. Surround yourself with positivity. It's essential. You don't have to go through this journey alone, and you shouldn't. Find people who uplift you, who inspire you, and who believe in you. Those connections can be vital in helping you stay motivated, especially during tough times. But don't mistake this for dependence. Remember that your strength ultimately comes from within. There will be moments when those around you may not understand your journey, when they may not see your vision. That's okay. Don't let that discourage you. Keep moving forward. You're the one in control of your destiny. You're the one who has to fight for what you believe in. Listen, it's natural to seek validation from others. We're human. We crave connection. But here's the thing. If you seek validation from others, you might find yourself lost in their opinions. You might end up sacrificing your own dreams to fit into someone else's vision of what success looks like. Don't let that happen. Create your own definition of success. What does it look like for you? What do you want to achieve? Once you establish that, commit to it. Take action. Take small steps every day. Those small steps will eventually lead to the big picture. And when you look back, you'll realize that every single effort you put in was worth it. Now, it's important to acknowledge that the road will be rocky. There will be days when you feel like giving up. But that's when you have to dig deep and remember why you started in the first place. Think about that burning desire within you. Think about the dreams you hold close to your heart. Use that as motivation. Let it fuel you when the going gets tough. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm saying it's worth it. Every moment of struggle, every tear shed, every ounce of sweat is all part of the journey. It's what shapes you into the person you are meant to be. It builds character, resilience, and strength. And when you emerge on the other side, you'll look back and see how far you've come you'll realize that those moments of struggle were necessary for your growth. And remember this, 
It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Life is not a straight path. It's filled with twists, turns, ups and downs. Embrace the ride. Enjoy the process. Learn from every experience, whether good or bad. They all contribute to your story. You see, every time you face adversity, you have a choice. You can either let it defeat you, or you can rise above it. You can either allow it to define you, or you can choose to redefine yourself. And I want you to choose the latter. Stand tall, stand proud, and know that you have the strength to overcome anything that comes your way. As you move forward, don't forget to celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Every step forward is a step in the right direction. Acknowledge your progress. Reward yourself for your hard work. It's important to recognize that you're on a journey, and every little win counts. So when the world tells you that you can't, you respond with watch me. When they say you won't succeed, you show them how wrong they are. You have the power to write your own story. You have the power to create a life that reflects your dreams. And it all starts with believing in yourself. At the end of the day, it's not about the applause or the accolades. It's about the journey you take to get there. It's about the lessons learned along the way, the people you meet, and the impact you make. So take that leap of faith. Trust in yourself. Stand up for your dreams. And don't let anything or anyone stop you. Take Thomas Edison, for instance. He was told he would never succeed. People laughed at his ideas and ridiculed his inventions. But did he give up? No. He continued to push forward. He worked tirelessly, often alone, until he finally created the light bulb. He didn't need anyone to tell him he could do it. He knew he could. And what about J.K. Rowling? Before she became a household name, she faced rejection after rejection from publishers. Many told her to give up, that she would never be successful. But she didn't listen. She kept writing, kept believing in her story, and kept nurturing her dreams. It was a long, lonely road, but she persevered. And look where that led her. She created a legacy that inspired millions around the world. Now, I want to be clear. I'm not saying you should dismiss the people in your life. Friends and family are important. They can be your cheerleaders. But don't let your happiness depend on them. Don't let your success hinge on someone else's opinion. You have to be your own biggest supporter. You have to cultivate that inner belief that says, I can do this. I am capable. I am worthy. Here's another thing. When you learn to stand on your own two feet, you also learn the true meaning of resilience. Resilience is built in those moments when you face adversity head on. It's developed in the struggles, setbacks, and challenges. It's about finding that fire within you, that determination that refuses to be extinguished. That's what resilience is. It's about getting knocked down and getting back up again, no matter how many times life tries to keep you down. Think about Thomas Edison's journey for a second. We all know the story of the light bulb, but do we really know what went into it? Edison failed thousands of times before he succeeded. Thousands. Can you imagine the kind of grit and perseverance it took to keep going? Most people would have quit after the first 100 failures, maybe even after the first 10, but not Edison. He saw every failure as a step closer to success. He believed in what he was doing so much that no amount of rejection, no amount of doubt, could stop him. And he didn't need anyone else to believe in him because he believed in himself. That's the kind of mindset you need to cultivate. The kind that says, I don't care how many times I fail. I'm going to keep going. I don't care how many people tell me I can't. I know I can. It's not about arrogance. It's about knowing your worth. It's about recognizing that the only opinion that really matters is your own. Because at the end of the day, you're the one who has to put in the work. You're the one who has to live with the results. So why let someone else dictate what you can or can't do? Look at J.K. Rowling. She was a single mother living on welfare, writing her story in coffee shops because she couldn't afford to heat her home. She was in one of the darkest, most difficult times of her life, but she didn't give up on her dream. She didn't let the circumstances around her define her. She kept writing. She kept believing. Even after 12 publishers rejected her manuscript, she didn't stop. She had every reason to quit, every reason to believe that maybe the world wasn't ready for her story. But she didn't let that stop her. And now, because of her perseverance, her characters live in the hearts and minds of millions of people around the globe. That's the power of self-belief. Now, I want you to think about your own life. Think about the dreams you have, the goals you've set for yourself. Maybe you've faced setbacks. 
Maybe people have told you that your dreams are unrealistic, that you should settle for something safer. But I'm here to tell you, don't listen to that noise. Don't let anyone tell you what you can or can't do. That's not their decision to make. It's yours. You are the architect of your own life. You have the power to create the reality you want. But it starts with believing in yourself, even when no one else does. And it's not just about achieving your dreams. It's about the person you become along the way. When you go through tough times, when you face rejection, failure, and doubt, you're building something far more valuable than success. You're building character. You're building strength. You're building the kind of resilience that will carry you through any challenge life throws your way. That's why it's so important to embrace the struggle, to see it not as something happening to you, but as something happening for you. Because here's the truth. Success isn't about the end result. It's about the journey. It's about the person you become in the process. Think about it. If everything came easy, if you never faced any challenges, would you truly appreciate success when it came? Would you have the same sense of accomplishment? I don't think so. It's the struggle, the setbacks, the moments of doubt that make success so sweet. It's the lessons you learn along the way, the growth you experience, that make the journey worthwhile. And let me tell you, when you achieve something on your own, when you know that you've put in the work, that you've fought through the doubt, the fear, and the rejection, it feels different. It feels real. It feels earned. And no one can take that away from you. That's why it's so important to develop that inner strength, that inner belief that says, I've got this. I don't need anyone to validate me. I know my worth. You don't need to rely on others for your happiness or success. That's not to say you shouldn't let people support you or celebrate with you, but understand that your journey is yours alone. The most important relationship you'll ever have is the one you have with yourself. If you can learn to be comfortable in your own company, if you can learn to trust yourself, there's nothing you can't achieve. And here's the thing. When you stop looking for validation from others, when you stop needing their approval, you free yourself. You stop caring about what other people think, and you start focusing on what truly matters, your goals, your dreams, your purpose. And that's when you become unstoppable. It's like the old saying, if you want something done right, do it yourself. There's truth in that. When you take ownership of your life, when you stop waiting for someone else to come along and fix things for you, you take control of your destiny. You start making things happen for yourself. You start creating your own opportunities. I've seen it time and time again in my own life. Whenever I've relied on others to make things happen, I've been disappointed. But whenever I've taken matters into my own hands, whenever I've trusted myself to get the job done, that's when I've seen real progress. That's when I've grown the most, both personally and professionally. And I'm not saying it's easy. It's not. There will be times when you feel like you're all alone. Times when the doubt creeps in. When you wonder if you're really capable of achieving what you've set out to do. But those are the moments that define you. Those are the moments that test your character, your resolve. And when you push through those moments, when you keep going despite the fear and doubt, that's when you realize just how strong you really are. Because here's the thing. Strength isn't about never feeling fear or doubt. It's about feeling those things and moving forward anyway. It's about trusting yourself enough to know that no matter what happens, you'll figure it out. You'll find a way. That's the mindset you need to cultivate if you want to succeed. And don't be afraid to fail. Failure is part of the process. It's how you learn, how you grow. Every time you fail, you're one step closer to success. Thomas Edison didn't get it right the first time or the 100th time, or even the thousandth time. But he didn't give up. He kept going. He kept refining his approach until he finally succeeded. And the same is true for you. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to fall flat on your face. Because every time you do, you're gaining valuable experience. You're learning what works and what doesn't. You're getting stronger, wiser, more resilient. And eventually, if you keep going, if you keep pushing, you'll succeed. But it all starts with you. It starts with believing in yourself, with trusting your own abilities, with taking control of your life and your destiny. You don't need anyone else to make things happen for you. You have everything you need within you. The only thing standing between you and success is your willingness to believe in yourself and take action. So start today. Start right now. Stop waiting for permission. Stop looking for validation. Take control of your life. Trust yourself. Believe in yourself. And watch what happens when you do. You'll be amazed at what you're capable of when you stop waiting for someone else to give you the green light 
and start moving forward on your own. You don't need anyone else. And you know what? The more you face those challenges alone, the stronger you become. You learn to trust yourself. You learn to rely on your instincts, your abilities. You learn that when push comes to shove, you can handle whatever life throws your way. That's a powerful realization. I want to encourage you to take a moment and reflect on your life. Think about the times when you felt the most alive, the most empowered. Often, it's during those moments of solitude when you had to dig deep, when you had to rely on your own strength and determination to push through. Those are the moments that define you. But it's not just about overcoming challenges. It's also about finding your passion, your purpose. And sometimes that journey is a solitary one. You have to take the time to figure out what drives you, what ignites that fire in your belly. It's not about following someone else's path. It's about creating your own. Think about the great artists, writers, and innovators who spent hours in solitude perfecting their craft. They didn't wait for someone to come along and show them the way. They took the initiative. They invested time in themselves, in their skills, and their passions. And that's what you have to do. Find the thing that makes you tick, whether it's painting, writing, music, or any other passion. Spend time cultivating it. Invest in your growth and do it for yourself. Because when you're pursuing what you love, you become unstoppable. You build confidence, you build expertise, you build a life that is uniquely yours. Now, I know there will be moments when the weight of the world feels heavy on your shoulders. There will be times when you feel like giving up, but that's when you have to dig deep. That's when you have to remind yourself that you are capable of overcoming any obstacle. You have the strength within you to carry on, to keep pushing forward, even when it feels impossible. And let's not forget the importance of discipline. Success is not handed to you on a silver platter. It takes hard work, dedication, and discipline. You have to put in the hours, make sacrifices, and stay committed to your goals. It's not always easy, but it's necessary. And when you do that, when you show up for yourself day in and day out, you're sending a powerful message to the universe. You're saying, I am serious about my dreams. I am committed to my journey discipline. That's where it all starts. People think that success is some magical thing that just happens, but it doesn't. It's built brick by brick, with every choice you make, with every time you decide to push through the resistance and keep going when it's easier to quit. That discipline, that consistency, that's what separates those who make it from those who don't. I've seen it in my own life. I've seen the difference between the times I was disciplined and the times I let things slide. And the truth is, when you're not consistent, when you're not disciplined, it shows. It affects everything. Things fall apart. But when you commit to showing up, to doing the work even when it's hard, even when you don't feel like it, that's when the magic happens. You start to see progress, little by little. Things begin to shift. You may not notice it right away, but over time, those small efforts add up. And suddenly, you're looking around at the life you've built. And you realize that all those long hours, all that discipline, all those sacrifices, they were worth it. You're standing in the middle of a life that you created, a life that reflects your values, your passions, and your dreams. And there's something else that happens when you face challenges alone. You build resilience. You get to know yourself on a deeper level. You learn what you're truly capable of. You discover that you're a lot stronger than you thought you were. And that resilience, that inner strength, becomes your greatest asset. Life will throw curveballs at you, it's inevitable. There will be times when things don't go as planned, when obstacles seem insurmountable. But if you've built that resilience, if you've learned to trust yourself, you'll know that you can handle whatever comes your way. Resilience isn't just about bouncing back from failure. It's about thriving in the face of adversity. It's about understanding that every setback is an opportunity to grow, to learn, to become better. When you face challenges alone, you're forced to confront your fears, your doubts, and your limitations. In doing so, you push past them. You expand your comfort zone. You become more than you were before. There's a sense of pride that comes with that. When you walk through the fire and come out the other side, when you face your fears and emerge victorious, there's a confidence that builds within you. It's not arrogance. It's a quiet confidence, a deep knowing that you are capable, that you are strong, and that you can handle whatever life throws at you. And that confidence carries you through future challenges. It becomes a part of who you are. Now, I'm not saying that you have to do everything on your own all the time. There's value in community, in collaboration, and in seeking support when you need it. 
But I am saying that you have to be willing to stand alone when necessary. You have to be willing to do the work, to face the challenges, to push through the hard times, even when no one else is there to cheer you on. That's where true growth happens. And here's the thing. When you become comfortable standing alone, you become unstoppable. You're no longer dependent on the opinions, approval, or validation of others. You're no longer waiting for someone else to give you permission to pursue your dreams. You've taken ownership of your life, of your journey, and that is incredibly powerful. When you're standing in your own truth, when you're pursuing your passions with everything you've got, when you're disciplined, resilient, and focused, you become a force to be reckoned with. People will take notice. They'll see the fire in your eyes, the determination in your steps, and they'll know that you're not someone to be underestimated. You're someone who's serious about their life, about their dreams, about their purpose. And that energy is contagious. When you're living in alignment with your true self, when you're showing up for yourself day in and day out, you inspire others to do the same. People will look to you as an example of what's possible when you're willing to put in the work, when you're willing to stand alone if necessary, when you're willing to face challenges head on. But the most important thing is that you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for accolades, for approval, or for recognition. You're doing it because it's who you are. You're doing it because it's what you're called to do. And when you operate from that place, from that deep sense of purpose, there's a peace that comes with it. You're no longer chasing after things outside of yourself. You found the fulfillment that comes from within. And that's the key to true success, true happiness. It's not about what you achieve externally. It's about who you become in the process. It's about living a life that's aligned with your values, your passions, your purpose. It's about showing up for yourself day after day, even when it's hard, even when it's lonely. Because when you do that, you're building a life that's uniquely yours, a life that reflects your truth. So, I want to encourage you to embrace the journey. Embrace the challenges, the solitude, the discipline, the growth. Know that every step you take, every obstacle you overcome, every moment you spend investing in yourself is all building towards something greater. You may not see it right now, but trust me, it's happening. Little by little, you're creating the life you were meant to live. And remember this, you don't have to wait for anyone else to give you permission to pursue your dreams. You don't have to rely on anyone else to make things happen for you. You have everything you need within you. You have the strength, the resilience, the discipline, the passion, and the purpose. It's all there, waiting for you to tap into it. So go out there and do it. Stand alone if you have to. Face the challenges head on. Invest in yourself, in your growth, in your dreams, and know that every step you take is bringing you closer to the life you've always wanted. You've got this. You are capable. You are worthy. You are unstoppable. Now, I know you might be thinking, but Denzel, what if I feel lost? What if I don't know what I want? And that's okay. It's part of the process. You don't have to have all the answers right now. Life is a journey of exploration. Embrace that uncertainty. Take the time to explore different paths, different passions. Try new things. Step out of your comfort zone. You'll discover what resonates with you, what ignites that passion within. A lot of people believe that in order to move forward, they need a perfect plan, a map laid out from start to finish. But life doesn't work that way. It's messy, it's unpredictable, and sometimes, it's confusing as hell. But that confusion, that feeling of not knowing exactly where you're headed, doesn't mean you're lost. It means you're on the verge of discovering something new, something real. Don't be afraid to stumble a little. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. That's where the growth happens. Let me tell you something about feeling lost. Some of the greatest breakthroughs come when you're wandering. Think about the times in your life when you felt the most uncertain, the most unsure. What happened afterward? Did you stay lost, or did you find a new direction, one that maybe you hadn't even considered before? That's the beauty of life. It's constantly evolving, constantly giving you opportunities to learn more about yourself, to discover new layers, new dimensions of who you are. And as you continue on this journey, remember to be patient with yourself. Growth takes time. Healing takes time. And yes, sometimes it might feel like you're taking two steps forward and one step back, but that's part of it. Don't rush the process. Trust that each experience is shaping you, molding you into the person you're meant to be. A lot of times, we get caught up in this idea that we need to be fixed, or that we need to reach some kind of final destination where everything makes sense. But life isn't about fixing yourself. 
It's about becoming more of who you truly are. It's about peeling back the layers of doubt, fear, and insecurity to reveal the strength, the resilience, and the wisdom that's already inside you. And that process takes time. You can't rush it. You have to let it unfold naturally. I know it's hard sometimes. We live in a world that constantly tells us to hurry up, to achieve this, to accomplish that. We're surrounded by messages that make us feel like we're not doing enough, not being enough, not moving fast enough. 